Hello, I'm Pat Stein, a consultant assisting the South Dakota Department of Transportation with the US-212 Forest City Bridge Corridor and Environmental Study. Welcome to the virtual public meeting for reviewing improvement concepts for the US-212 Corridor, Lake Oahe Crossing. This project covers roughly a 96 square mile study area surrounding the existing US-212 Bridge at Forest City. This presentation covers the unique transportation needs and the improvement concepts proposed for the corridor. At the end of this presentation, you will be given instructions on how to review improvement concepts in more detail and provide your comments. The US-212 corridor provides a vital connection across Lake Oahe, connecting communities, commerce, and recreational uses. The south approach of the existing Forest City Bridge is affected by current active landslides, which have resulted in millions of dollars in repair and mitigation expenses since the bridge opened to traffic in 1958. This project is a joint effort between the South Dakota Department of Transportation, the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe, and the Federal Highway Administration to conduct a corridor study that includes identifying the type size, and location for a replacement bridge. The goal of this study is to identify a bridge location and the associated realignment of US-212 if needed that is the most suitable while still maintaining the highway route, continuity, and access needed within the north central region of South Dakota. The replacement of the bridge is tentatively planned for federal fiscal year 2029. This is a unique project site within South Dakota with a combination of tribal land, farmland, recreational opportunities, and local businesses. Our team appreciates the importance of these unique existing conditions and will consider them during our corridor study. This graphic depicts how important this bridge is to the community, providing numerous services to many different users. Our study will ensure that the alternatives continue to provide a safe and efficient connection for this broad group of users and services into the future. One of the key challenges on this study area is landslides and unstable soils. This project area has seen landslide activity cause movement and damage to US-212, and as we evaluate potential corridors, it is vital we understand areas of high risk of landslides. This map shows our initial geotechnical investigation of the project area, which used field reconnaissance, past geologic studies combined with satellite imagery to identify areas in the project which are prone to landslides. The darker orange color identifies areas with the most active landslide activity, while lighter orange and yellows identify less active slide areas. Now I will pass it to Jenica. Hi. I'm Jenica Wilcox with FHU in our Sioux Falls office. I'll be sharing with you the concept level corridor alternatives and screening. As Pat mentioned, at the onset of this project, we gathered data regarding existing conditions throughout the approximate 96 square mile project study area. We d then took that information and looked for logical locations for a new bridge and associated US-212 corridors. These corridors were chosen to minimize soil instability and efficiently cross Lake Oahe and the Missouri River with logical bridge lengths and structure height. We identified logical alignment locations that would allow for simplicity of corridor lengths with similar travel times and minimizing construction costs and maintenance costs. We also recognized the importance of the recreational areas to the Forest City area and our goal is to minimize impacts to those areas and still provide access to existing boat ramps and recreational areas. At this stage in the project, our corridor concepts are one half mile in width. These corridors will be further analyzed and refined through the process of the project. With all of these factors in mind, we have identified five one half mile corridors. The first corridor is the central alignment corridor, which will be our baseline corridor. This corridor utilizes the most existing US-212, assuming a new bridge would be constructed offset from the existing bridge location. This would allow the existing US-212 
to remain operational through the construction period. This alignment will have the most soil instability to overcome with construction methods and long-term maintenance of the new highway and bridge. The second and third corridors we looked at were the south alternatives one and two. These alignments have longer bridge structure lengths and needs for fill material as this area is relatively flat on the east side of the river. South alternative two squares up the river crossing but will have more geotechnical soil instability to overcome with construction and maintenance costs and methods. South alternative one utilizes a more established area along 166th Street. Both corridors are similar along the west side of the river, utilizing a more established area along BIA Road 8. The final two corridors we have identified are North Alternatives 1 and 2. These corridors utilize the more established area along 1804 and both corridors have quite a bit of relief where dirt can be balanced out through the corridor. These corridors have the least amount of soil instability and moderate bridge lengths. As our team progresses the individual alignment alternatives, we will utilize tools similar to this video to identify potential corridor alternatives and associated earthwork, bridge placement, and soil instability of the corridors. This video identifies a potential location for a proposed corridor and structure within the one half mile central alignment corridor. Tools such as this are useful in accurately accounting for all parameters and identifying project needs within each corridor. Each corridor alternative will be evaluated similarly to help the team appropriately refine the concepts and eliminate concepts that don't effectively meet the project purpose and need. Elements of our screening criteria at this stage will include categories such as safety, travel time for vehicles traveling along US 212 and 1804, environmental factors, geotechnical soil stability, and physical elements such as bridge crossing lengths and impacts to private properties. The feedback received from this public engagement process will also be taken into account. Task 1 is nearing completion with an expected completion this summer. Task 2 will be roughly a two-year process in which alternatives will continue to be refined and additional data collected to be utilized in that refinement process. In 2023, NEPA will begin to further assess potential environmental impacts as part of Task 3. There will be public engagement opportunities throughout the project with an anticipated bridge replacement currently slated for 2029. Our team has put together an alternative map that is interactive and allows you to provide your input. To learn more about each specific corridor, please click the alternative map located below the video on the Participate webpage. This will take you to the overall corridor location map. By pressing and holding the left mouse button, you can move the overall map to view the corridor you are most interested in. A quick mouse click while hovering over the specific corridor will take you to more detailed information. Click the X located in the upper right corner of the pop-up window. These instructions are repeated by clicking the About icon located in the gray ribbon along the left side of your screen. We encourage you to complete the online survey for the project so we can better understand your input on this project. Our team is excited to hear from you and look forward to your input helping our project succeed. We thank you for your time and look forward to keeping you informed and engaged on this exciting project.